Today is such an exciting day that I really hate to speak over everybody and make everybody stop uh, being excited and showing your excitement. Um, but uh, I guess I have to so that we can, uh, we can, we can do what we need to do and then there is food and entertainment waiting outside. My name is Peter Imhoff, I'm the Executive Director of Family Center, and thank you so much for everybody to come here today. Um, I'm, I'm pretty nervous, I'm pretty excited because I only get to do this once, I think, in my lifetime, uh, to open a brand new branch for, for Family Center. Now, before we get started, um, I want to acknowledge uh, that we are on Blackfoot land. And that I am really grateful that we have an opportunity between Blackfoot people and more recent additions uh, to this area, that we have an opportunity to work together and do the best possible that we can do for our, for our community. So I acknowledge that, and I also want to acknowledge the many people who have, um, who have come here today. And, um, and um, first of all, First of all, I have a long list, um, but I think I can make it through most of the list um, uh, without, without bringing up my readers. Um, we have uh, Mayor Chris Spearman here today. Uh, thanks for coming. We've got our MLA and Minister Shannon Phillips uh, here today. And, um, and we've got, this is where I really do need the list because we have a, a great number um, of representatives of the school district 51 here. And we have trustees, and we have Don Lacey, the vice, vice chair. Okay, awesome. And we have uh, Jen Foster and Donna Hunt uh, joining us from the, from the school board. And then we've got lots of school staff as well. Uh, very excited about that, especially Don Lucier, without whom we wouldn't be here. And uh, we've got uh, Joey Gentile, and uh, who's the principal of Poland's Elementary. And we've got Christine Lee, uh, who is um, um, also with the school district. And who am I missing? Mr. Platt, vice principal, and? Awesome. Thanks for coming today. Really appreciate it. And um, this place is only happening because we have all sorts of help, all sorts of people pulling together, and um, also because of the help that we as Family Center got from our community. And I really want to acknowledge Mr. Dan Brown back there for that particular restaurant uh, who has helped us uh, financially. And uh, Tony Miani from Daytona Homes uh, will be able to join us later today. They have also made a, a significant contribution, as well as the Community Foundation of uh, Lethbridge and South West Alberta. Now, the other people I want to acknowledge are past and present board members of Family Center. If you could identify yourself, we have Patricia Stanton, we have uh, Sharon Rempel, our board chair, and Turner, where are you over there? Um, uh, now with the chamber, but formerly director of Family Center. And uh, thanks for being here today. I really appreciate that. And I really want to thank all Family Center staff who are here today. I know this has been a tense, tight week. The programming has just started, and uh, yesterday we had an open house, and lots of people worked long hours. Today we have the grand opening. On Monday we have the AGM, so I know a lot is coming together right now. So I appreciate your sustained energy uh, and help um, celebrating the grand opening today. And as you're rolling in, I really appreciate the uh, families coming here today because we can build and we can collaborate and we can make things, but at the end of the day, the purpose that we have comes from the families that use what we have to offer. So I really appreciate this section and the families and the caretakers uh, who are here today. And I look forward to seeing this space for the community. Now, before we get started, I would like to invite uh, our elder Gilbert, uh, Gilbert uh, to help us and uh, start this start this day uh, in the right way. Gilbert, if you could come and uh, give us a break. Thank you. It's, it's an honor to be asked to meet you. And I guess uh, I'm going to train you later. It's easier for me. There's some words that I say in my language that I can't interpret in English. And 
So what I'm going to pray for today is for this building. And, and the thing about it is the prayers that we're going to have to pray to help those people west of us here and east of us in those islands. It's a sad, it's a sad thing happened to them. And, and I'm going to pray for the mayor. I'm not going to pray for the campaign. For the <laughs> <laughs> it's a one-day prayer. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Gilbert, for this prayer, and also thank you for your ongoing engagement uh, to help us um, develop this place. The outdoor space would not look the same uh, without your advice. Thanks for that. And um, I want to I want to really stress that um, that we are very lucky and grateful that we are in an elementary school. Uh, Family Center is a parenting center. We receive money from the province uh, for that. And when the parenting center system network was established in 2004, the idea was to have family resource centers in elementary schools consistently. And that has not happened in many in many places. And it does not happen for us in downtown. There are many facilities. So I'm very grateful today that we have an opportunity now to serve the families that we are building some of the And uh, I would like to invite uh, Shannon Phillips, our MLA, 
um, to say a few words about uh, the importance of early education. Well, thank you, Peter. And, and uh, uh, first of all, thank you to uh, uh, all of the elders uh, uh, for your, uh, uh, Gilbert, for your prayer. And uh, uh, I, we are on Blackfoot uh, territory, of course, the traditional territory of uh, the uh, Begani, Gainai, and Sasaka people, uh, and uh, as formed part of Treaty 7. It's important for us to remember that. It grounds us as we move forward in a path of reconciliation uh, as a province. I'll bring you greetings on behalf of Peter Notley, of course, uh, her entire cabinet uh, and her government, uh, for whom the priority has been in many ways, because the people of Alberta asked us for it to be a priority, education. And uh, uh, early education mattering just as much as our, our uh, uh, elementary school and uh, 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 junior high, middle school and, and high school systems and our post-secondary system. We really believe that uh, uh, families are, are, we are all better off uh, uh, if families are well supported uh, uh, from the early years on. We also believe as a government that when my neighbor does better, I do better. Uh, and, uh, and so when all children can have the best possible start in life that uh, creates a province that uh, is, is, is wealthy, is sustainable, uh, in all of the various ways that we understand those words. Um, so we have made significant investments in, in education and we have kept our education and early education funding stable even through a very, very difficult time for Albertans. In particular, uh, uh, it's very, been a very difficult time in terms of unemployment, uh, in terms of uh, the recession, but also in terms of our own government revenues. But we took the position from the very beginning that those children should not pay for the drop in the price of oil. And, uh, and their services and their education should not be sacrificed because of global dynamics that we cannot control. We can't control those dynamics, we can control how we respond to them. And how we responded was that we are going to continue to invest in things that make life better for families. And one of the biggest things that we can do is value early education and support for parents and support for caregivers uh, as, we, as they move through those very tricky years of life. As someone who is just sort of exiting that world now, my kids are six and eight, uh, you know, I, I know the pressure that, that young families are under, the cost of childcare, the availability of resources, uh, all of those, those things, trying to balance all of those sleepless nights and, and extra hours that come from being a parent of small children. So as we make these investments in, in uh, places like this, uh, as we make these investments in our K-12 system, in our new ch uh, child care pilot uh, uh, systems, we've got that front of mind. What makes life better for Alberta families? What makes life a little easier? And what makes, it, uh, what makes life easier for my neighbors as well? Because at the end of the day, that's how we build community and that's how we build the province. So thank you to everyone here who makes that happen every day. You're the ones who actually make those choices, who actually do the, uh, uh, the delivery on the ground, uh, who are actually assisting those families, and who are actually building the province that we all want to see together. So I want to thank you for that and honor your work. Thank you. Thank you. Good. Thanks for dropping me the notion of a neighbor. And um, we are in the Copperwood neighborhood, and it's a really beautiful neighborhood that's uh, in the process of becoming bigger and um, in the process of establishing itself. And it's such a privilege to be part of that and uh, really look forward to, to serve this neighborhood in particular. And you've known the province, uh, the city has, uh, has been growing uh, rapidly, and so we need to address that growth. Now, before I hand it uh, the stage off to the mayor, um, I also want to point out that we have a great opportunity, but in order to make opportunities happen, sometimes what you need is persistence. You need a lot of grit. You need to stick with it even when your project has been canceled. And when I look back through the file for Families in the West, it starts in 2005. On June 28, 2005, there was a meeting. And uh, minutes were taken, it's four pages of minutes. And the first page um, has a list of attendants, uh, people talking about co-location of services. And, um, and I'm really excited, and I think these you know, people can be proud um, that, that um, two of the people on that list on page one are here today. And um, who remembers the meeting on June 28, 2005? I certainly don't. And uh, John Lucy was part of uh, the first shenanigans about 
uh, the provocation work, and Chris Spearman, uh, you were in that meeting as well, as uh, you were as a trustee with Holy Spirit at the time. And so I think that is something important to remember. We get to celebrate the opening, but there were many, many, many people over many years that kept and stuck with it and made this thing happen. And without those people, in particular my predecessor, uh, Crystal Elliott, we would not be here today. So I thank all the people in the past who have made, have made this happen. I'm inviting the mayor to talk about um, how this resource center is important for, for the rest of you. Well, I too would like to acknowledge that we're on traditional Blackfoot territory. And I would certainly thank the Blackfoot people for preserving the land and making it available for our use. Um, how wonderful it is today. And uh, as Peter has said, I did serve as a trustee for 18 years with the Holy Spirit School Board. And uh, back in the 1990s, we were asking for family centers, wraparound support for parents. And we could under we could see the pressure. We used to meet in the old courthouse uh, down on Fourth Avenue. And uh, and we we thought it was so important. Every time we would apply for a school or a renovation, we would we wanted a family center added onto the school. And I guess it is persistence because now it's 20 years later and we finally have one. <laughs> because parents and families, they go through stresses and uh, there's so many things for them to deal with. Uh, the kids come home from school, there's a series of activities, the parents are frazzled. And when we can have an organization that focuses on getting the parents to work together with their kids to basically tone everything down a little bit. Take a, take a bit of a rest and make sure that we spend quality time with our kids, that we uh, provide the skills to parents that they need to, uh, to be effective uh, uh, family adults, you know, and support their kids. It's really important. So uh, I congratulate uh, the Family Center uh, for their persistence and everybody here who's made that part of the dream, people who contributed uh, financially, uh, people who's, who just shared the idea and continued to, uh, to press our provincial government so that they would finally uh, allow one of these centers and, and help fund it. So it's a, it's a big step forward for Lethbridge. I know there's a, a second one coming in North Lethbridge. I think that's fantastic. And we're finally doing some of those things because schools can't be all things to all people. Uh, schools try to be all things to all people, but they need supports as well. So it's great to have the support right on the site where parents come. So congratulations. Thank you all for coming today. This is a fantastic uh, accomplishment, and I'm thrilled to be here and part of it. Uh, I, I thought I'd never live to see it, and here it is. Thank you. Yes, <laughs> Thank you, and I think um, Lethbridge is uh, very strong at uh, collaborating and uh, and working together. And yeah, please feel free to come in from the from the room in there. There is still space over here, so please uh, feel free to to follow in. Absolutely. Um, there's partnership and collaboration, and I think that's one of the real strengths uh, that we have in Lethbridge. And I just saw Danielle McIntyre speaking with uh, one of our longtime partners, our uh, family center, uh, ED of the, of the Interfaith uh, Food Bank. And so we really value our partnerships and we want to be a part in creating new, lasting uh, partnerships. And that is the one area that's really important for us here in this new space, is to create opportunities to have respectful conversations, to have respectful uh, discussions between indigenous and non-indigenous people, to strengthen that partnership. And that is what I call reconciliation. And I think it's it's an important it's important to create space for us. And I look forward to see this space, um, to this space to grow into that. Um, We've seen lots of growth in Lethbridge. On the west side, it's been it's been a rapid growth in recent years, and it seems to me in the last two three years, the, the businesses, the corporations, really started taking that seriously and started putting their services and their goods on the west side. There's a whole lot more shopping you can do now, and getting gas and and other things um, that that you can do now on the west side. And I think our not for profit agencies also need to hear that, 
and we need to offer more services on the west side, where 40% of the city live. Um, so at this point, I would like to call forward uh, Dan Brown, the owner of Lethbridge by Cornwall's Restaurants, and say a few words why it's important to you to support families and children. Sure. Congratulations, Peter. It's awesome. awesome. We've been friends with the families there now for over 10 years. And uh, for us families, we're really the cornerstone of, of what we do each and every day, serving the food and the beverages that we have. Uh, you see a mural on the wall there. Uh, we are excited to be able to bring a little bit of McDonald's happiness to this place. And we just congratulate Peter and the staff for the hours that they've worked, and we're happy to be a part of it, also for the future. So, um, one, of the, one of the lasting partnerships, and I, I mentioned it before, since 2005, the discussions have been ongoing, are with the school district and public school district 51 in this particular case. And so I would invite uh, Cheryl um, to say a few things about uh, our last partnership. <laughs> I'm glad I saw you smile. <laughs> wow. uh, thank you, Peter. And, and I can say, although I'm not prepared to say anything, that sort of three things. We have an absolute genuine interest in um, services such as the Family Center. I, we believe that the uh, help children grow, they help families, they provide services to children and families that make a real difference in the lives of children and help them be ready to come to school. We also believe that there isn't a better partnership than a school building and a family centre. Uh, sort of that whole one-stop shop idea where families can come and be present, they may have other children in the school, and the ch children, the younger children access to the family centre get used to that type of environment and learn what a wonderful place it is to come and play and be together. And finally, the Family Centre has been an amazing organization to work with. Uh, certainly, with the uh, great vision, they have great ideas in terms of how our partnership can grow. So thank you, Peter. There have been so many people who have supported this from outside of Family Centre, but also from inside of Family Centre. I already mentioned um, our board of directors and um, and the staff. Um, that has um, that is really what what that does the work. As uh, Shannon, you pointed out, um, you have to make that person-to-person -person contact, and that is um, our staff that made it happen. And, um, and at this time, I really want to point out a couple of staff that are particularly important for this facility because they will be the face of Family Center West. And so we've got Christy Vassell here, our early childhood ed educator, and we've got Amara Matthews behind there, behind there, next to the camera, uh, our parent educator. So these two uh, will be carrying the flag here on the west side. Um, for Family Center, and Christy has actually done more than that. She has helped us over the past six months to move in here, to make sure that we have balloons, to make sure that we have a door that closes, uh, to make sure that we have railings that are safe and useful. And so I really want to appreciate Christy at this point for the really hard and excellent work that she's done to move in here. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> wow. <laughs> So thank you everybody for being here today and helping us uh, move in um, at this new facility. And thank you to the Chamber of Commerce who has um, um, brought this wonderful grand opening uh, paraphernalia. And uh, my personal favorite you know, are the scissors. Uh, <laughs> this is a scary sound. <laughs> does anybody know? Does anybody know the German children's book? Um, uh, Strobel Peter, uh, Peter, somebody help me out. No? No. There's a story in a German children's book about not sucking your thumb. And what Wait. happens when you suck your thumb is 
a tailor comes very dramatic fashion and snaps your thumb off. That is <laughs> Trips over kids and then talks about something their thumbs off. Woo! I don't, I don't think we're allowed to tell those stories anymore. <laughs> when I was there. Okay, I would, I would uh, before we go there, I completely missed our our board chair to say a few things about our new family center of Westbridge. So I'm obviously the least professional speaker out of everyone's so wives' homes. So I apologize for that. I thought I'd tell you guys just a little bit first about what brought me to Family Center. I'm honored to be the chair of Family Center as a parent of um, a four and a six year old, Family Center was very helpful to me as a new parent. I didn't really know what to do the first time I had a baby. I didn't know where to go. And someone said, hey, just go to the play groups at Family Center and you'll find something there. And I did, I found a community. My kids loved it. They still talk about it even though they don't get to come anymore. And once we were kind of past that stage where we were participating in some of the play groups, I knew that I had to find a way to be involved with Family Center ongoing. And so I waited for this board. I was specifically waiting to join this board. And I've been here on the board for about three years now. And it's been a wonderful experience. And so um, that's, that's what brought me here. I feel like as board chair, I represent the population that this, this organization is supporting. And so I feel like I bring that perspective to our board of directors along with the perspectives of all of our other wonderful board members. So thank you for joining us to celebrate the opening of Family Center. This new branch um, joins our, our other two locations of offering services in the downtown core and the north area of the city and help us foster our vision of healthy children, healthy families, healthy communities by meeting Lethbridge families wherever they're at in our community. We can say that we, we cover a pretty broad section of the city now. Through this new branch, we hope to support Copperwood, Coal Banks, and Westside families to come together to build skills, friendships, and a greater sense of community. We are excited to be a pioneer of social services in this section of our city. It has been said that families are the compass that guide us. They are the inspiration to reach great heights and our comfort when we occasionally falter. Family Center is proud to play a critical role in strengthening capacity and encouraging the best possible development of families. Today marks the end and the beginning of an era. We worked effort effortlessly over the past number of years to bring this project to fruition and we are eager to see it come to life. Congratulations to our current and past board members and employees who worked so hard to make this dream a reality. We wouldn't be the strong community we are in Lethbridge if we didn't support each other. Family Center must extend its deepest gratitude to everyone who made this happen, all of our donors, our staff, our volunteers, all coming together to make sure that Family Center can be a great place for everyone. Um, this branch starts off small in size, but mighty in its passion, and pursues to enrich the lives of children and families. On behalf of the Board of Directors, I thank you so much for coming today, and I'm really excited to see how this new center grows. Thank you. Okay, so you got you saw how excited I got about this uh, pair of scissors. <laughs> um, so I, I'm going to share this excitement uh, with everybody who has just spoken. So if you just want to uh, give me a hand uh, with this great pair of scissors, and okay, you young folks, children of this room, you see this pair of scissors? It's huge. It's the biggest pair of scissors that actually works that you will ever see. Okay. This is your chance to help us cut with this pair of scissors, this ribbon. Who wants to join us? Do you guys want to help us cut the ribbon? They're too scared of it now. Because this is a big ribbon. I've had my phones. I can't stand it. I was like, really, Peter? Not only do you trip over children, you talk about chopping their thumbs off. <laughs> Okay, one, two, three. Okay, one, two, three. Okay, hang on. Okay. 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 Okay.
One, two, and three. Ah. Yeah. Yeah.